What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to set admin on your Apex Unturned server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. Even though games are supposed to be fun, let's be honest, sometimes as server owners, we're going to need someone to be in charge in case of emergency. Luckily, with an Apex server, becoming admin or adding an admin is ridiculously easy. As admin, players can use server commands to ban, kick, or change the game if cheats are enabled. Today, we're going to show you how to make yourself admin on your server through every step of the way. On Steam, go ahead and search up the profile of the user that you'd like to get the Steam ID for. Right click on their page and then copy. This is going to copy their Steam page link, which you're going to need to post into the Steam ID.io website, which of course, we're going to link in the description of this video. On this web page, just paste that in and then hit enter. Now, when you click on lookup, the results are going to pop up and you're going to want to copy the Steam ID 64. You can just click on it or click on the copy button to the right of it. Now, go ahead and make sure to keep this ID nearby as it is going to be needed again shortly. Now, hop into your Apex server panel and once you are here, go ahead and click on stop so that your server fully stops and is offline. Then go ahead and click on config files on the left hand side of the page. This is going to open up this page where you can click on the commands.dat file. When you hover over it, it's going to highlight blue and you can just click into it. And on this first line or the first blank line, go ahead and type in owner space and then the steam ID 64 that we just copied. And now you can click on save at the top left of the page. Once you do click on save, it's going to prompt you to restart your server. And when it's back up and running, that player should now have admin commands on your unturned server. If you would like to add any more admins to the server from in game, you can go ahead and use the slash admin space and then paste in the steam ID 64 in game. Now let's go over two common issues that may arise. Whenever you copy your Steam ID 64, it has to be exact. You need to copy and paste it. And if you pre-type it, there's probably a chance you're going to get it wrong. So make sure that that's pasted in correctly into the commands.dat file and that you saved and restarted your server after pasting it in. And if you find that you can't use certain commands like slash give, please note and remember that some commands require that server cheats need to be enabled to work. You can do this by heading to the config files, then editing the commands.dat file once more. Go ahead and add cheats enabled on a blank line. And once this is done, make sure to click on save and then restart your server and you should be able to use more commands in game. No, but seriously, make sure to only have trusted players as admins on your server. Don't just add random people or anybody and make sure that the people you add as admin don't add other random people. Being an admin is super useful for when you want to explore or maybe just mess around with your friends or if you're recording a video for work and you need to record yourself you might want to spawn in lots of gear and stuff. But remember, guys, it's super useful. And one of the best things you can do for your server is make yourself admin on your unturned server. Well, folks, that's what we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.